Hi everybody, welcome back to Ukrainian Gaming, welcome back to Reward the Jungle Aristocracy. So, we are getting close to have um, a wall around our base, and the barbarians will pay for that. <laughs> um, now, we have done a lot of stuff in the last episode, uh, actually I'm very glad that we have finally some electricity uh, supply, the batteries will be full soon and uh, we have also to make sure yeah that everything works quite well we we have to clean up the the jungle around our wind turbines and that's something that we can easily do uh one thing i wanted to do here uh, was actually the following i want to say um we will we will take this rice when the when the growing zone is ready but I don't want to uh, so uh, again because I think this is really uh, very time consuming and at the moment at the time being we have really a lot, a lot of uh, food in particular rice and uh, we can absolutely uh, survive with the three colonies and this amount of rice plus uh, all the animals we can hunt I think it's not gonna be a big deal and um, we have to save our manpower for other topics so at the moment i don't want my colonists to spend their time sowing uh, the fields a new quest has become available it is called royal ascent let me take a look to accept this quest you need a colonist with the title of count a free bedroom that satisfies the title requirement i have no count so cannot accept that that's a, that's a shame okay but basically we should um, keep Curticus Curticus mood above 25% Curticus is a is a knight from the Exodus Empire but uh, at the moment uh, I, I really cannot do that first because I don't have the royal title and second because I don't have the room so Let's keep working on on the our quarry. Basically, I'm removing all the the stone that I find, um, so that I can build faster my my uh, walls. Another quest available. Okay, a mammoth blueprint. Let me check. A mysterious message has arrived. It seems it was transmitted by a machine person that refuses to name itself. The message asks uh, that you build a very specific monument, so a three pl um, per three in size, and it will require these resources: limestone and steel. Construction must be completed within twelve days. Upon completion, we will get a total value of one hundred twenty bucks uh, in Luciferium. I I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want to have drugs in this base at the moment because they could really, really. Um, cripple my oh this is steel this is not stone shit it would cripple my productivity i don't want to do that this is stone okay sandstone blocks this is going to be very interesting when we have all this sandstone because we are gonna add uh, our uh, wall at the moment we don't have sufficient resources okay fine we'll try to build them another interesting thing is that judel uh, is now resting She's a space refugee. We saved her from a bad, very bad crash. And um, I would like to invite her to our base, but I'm not sure. There is a little issue. She's a py uh, pyromaniac. I didn't notice that at the beginning. I really don't like it, but she's very good with animals. So she would be able to tame the, our first uh, um, animal factory. <laughs> Yeah, that would be interesting, honestly. Is she a good crafter? Yeah, also. She could be useful. She could be useful. Alright. We have almost depleted all the resources here in terms of stone. So the walls, we have to take care of the, of the flooring. All those, uh, all those uh, sense on ties can be 
uh, disassembled and uh, we can use the raw material for our walls, so that's fine. Beside of that, our rice will grow soon, the hill root is growing, the cotton plant is growing, so that's also quite good. Considering now we have some clothing. Wonderful. I could, but I don't have any crafters, so I will not. I could craft some hats, some cowboy hats, but again, this is not uh, the right task for my guys. Where are they going now? Ah, I completely forgot about this. So basically we are really full of material. And as you can see, it's uh, way faster to just um, to construct uh, some wall, some already present wall instead of just starting uh, all the masonry process. So picking up the rock, working the rock, crafting the bricks that that, that takes forever. I forgot to remove the floor here. This is actually a very good, uh, very good exercise. What can we build here? Gr granite rocks, okay. Let me take granite. Obviously, um, as you can see, the walls will not be effective until they are not fully completed, but. It will take forever, I'm aware, but we have to start. And this is wonderful, as you see now, every every um, wind turbine is working. There are still sun trees blocking this, but what, ha what happens? There is a, ah, there was a slow flare, uh, I don't care. Let me take some concrete. Let's pay. Uh, yeah, we have to create a sort of pavimentation, you know, so that uh, plants will not affect the efficiency of our uh, wind farm. Wonderful. And I think another topic we should uh, think about is to have an emergency. Um, okay, you can you can we can deactivate this. Oh, another quest. Wow, so many quests. A friendly int artificial intelligence from your past named Charles Charlon Whiteston has sent you a message. He reveals that there is a, a starship. Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. But this is another thing. This is a victory um, quest. This is a victory quest. Marriage going on already? Man. Ting Ting and Zimbo are here since... Uh, a week, maybe? And they're already getting married. Thing escalated quickly. <laughs> okay, fine. In the meantime, as you see, Zebu is um, picking all the rice and cooking it. Uh, we have already 73 frozen meals. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. It will allow us to survive for at least uh, 15 to 20 days and... Um, I might consider them to hunt also, which is great. How is it going here with the walls? There is still a lot of, of work to do. On the other side, oh, also in here. Ah, oh, this is steel, I don't care. I wanted actually sandstone. I will not de deconstruct this uh, kind of labyrinth. Okay, fine. Wonderful. Marble, not so much. Limestone, a little bit. Uh, granite, a little bit. Okay, Judith is going away. She's not joining us. Pity. Do we have so much limestone? There? Okay. 
Wonderful. Yeah, I was thinking about an emergency battery room, and uh, I think I will do that actually close to my power generators. <clears throat> but as you can see, our batteries are now very, very weak because the wind is not very strong. Now it, the wind is strong and the batteries are fulfilling again. I might consider to buy a fourth battery so I have more, let's say, flexibility when I want to make sure when there is no wind, we need to use them. Concrete is just preventing any tree to grow and uh, it will keep the deficiencies of, of the deficiency of our windmills, our wind turbines high. I would say, uh, how many... Okay, simple meal. Cook until you have 100. That's perfect. We will freeze our, our meals and uh, food-wise, I can say we are on the safe side. We can focus on something different. Because food is the most important thing, but it's also one of the most time-consuming at the beginning. So, we need to be a, um, a little bit more efficient. Normally, at this point in time, Cassandra would send me a fourth colonist, but so far she sent me just raiders and they didn't manage to capture any of them. Maybe it should also be the prison. But I think that our defense are our priority. our defenses. Okay, we have enough food for actually a palisade, I could also consider that. That could be also an idea. So instead of having um, a, a stone wood, we, we build um, the wooden one and then we, we, we modify that in time. That's probably the best, the best idea for the moment. So Quest active, Dark Light of Shack of Goodies. Man, there is so much stuff here. So, here we'll start building a set of traps. Um, let's go, let's do it later. So we leave this part open so far, and uh, we give this order. What's going on here? Wait, I didn't have any, oh, whatever. Good. Fine. Now they have the order. A new quest, 23 days. So Dark Light Chief of the Breaks of the Prairie, they want to have a Psychophocus vest. Ah. Oh. Okay, there is, um, there is a kind of very, very interesting vest, but is uh, defended, well defended, and at the moment I don't have warriors, so. It's so sad that they have to turn down all those uh, quests because they, I, they are fantastic, they look great. I cancelled this. this um. Options and uh, yeah, also the constructing this would take so much time. I think it's better if we focus on our palisade at the moment. Because it's very fast to build, as you can see. We have enough resources and it will just keep the animals out of here. Of course, if if, if, if a, a group of riders with grenades and Molotov uh, cocktails is approaching us, we, we have no chance. But if a panther or a rhino are trying to crush us, uh, uh, they will, of course, be stopped by the hood and uh, we will have more time to organize our defenses. Uh, furthermore, I will also create here um, a maze, and uh, in this maze, we will make sure. Wait, now I need a, uh, I need the post button because I need to do it right. 
as you can see, I've already done a mistake. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Perfect. So, um, yeah, as you see, I made a mistake. That's better. Yep. Now it will work. Now it will work quite well. And I need some doors because I will need to uh, place uh, some traps. Which is wonderful. Uh, this is actually for animals, but it will work quite well also with the first um, groups of riders. I will show you. So it's a kind of labyrinth where uh, animals know that they can go get in and they can uh, storm our base. So there is an exit, actually, that would work. And uh, I need the dumping area here. Copy the settings for the dumping. Uh, okay, I will build it from scratch. Here we want only rocks, only chunks, whatever. And we are going to move this, uh, those uh, uh, marble chunks in the dumping area. So what happens is that now when the enemy is getting in the, uh, the maze, um, they will walk a lot and then get out here. They will be also slow because there are rocks and uh, we can try to kill them. The wooden barricade now is uh, uh, irrelevant. And actually we are building a copy here. To be our welcome pack. But a second we have a bike, uh, we have a caravan, fantastic. I will, I will talk about this uh, later, but now we, uh, we need to do some shopping. Social six, social six with a fire. Let's take Ting Ting. Stuff with a trader, and then we have a transfer. Tra uh, oh, shit. is he an enemy? Hero gang, are are those guys actually friends or no? They're hostile. They're pirates, and it's horrible. So we stay here. Let me see what they have. Let me see what they have. They could sell us some donkeys. They're new animals. Actually, they're great for travel, I guess. Nice. This is no mod, guys. Eh? The donkeys are a new part of the of the patch. Now I think I don't need anything from those guys. Could actually sell them uh, some pants. I could sell them some rice. They don't buy meals, but it's alright. Mm. I could sell them a lot of a lot of uh, skin that I don't use. For example, the Pantera skin is something I keep, but I, I I will not I will not trade too much. Good. So as soon as the palisade is done, and I think we need more wood for that. Let's chop it. Here we will also include traps. So every two tiles we will have a trap, a wooden one, because still uh, they are too expensive to maintain. And every time an enemy will step, every time they will have a tree, then a trap, then a tree, then a rock, and a trap, they will be absolutely um, um, injured as when they get out of here, if they get out of here, and then they will find our uh, rifles now and turrets later on so this is the reason you can see also Ting Ting is very slow when she's working inside because there are a lot of trees that are slowing her down and so on that's a, that's a that's the point guys so i think that for this episode i can stop in here thank you for watching and see you next time